In this video we're going to be going over how to install the USB-C charging mods for Game Boy Advance SP. And there's a few kits that follow the same design schema. They include the PCB with the proper resistors for USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging. And in our case, our, this kit from Robot Retro includes this 3D printed bracket. This is only recommended if you have um, some experience with soldering. It's, this is a fairly advanced install process. Um, and go ahead and just look over the board, make sure you have the contact here, which will be used for soldering the charging connection. And we're going to make sure the port looks good, everything looks good there. <clears throat> so now let's turn our attention to the Game Boy Advance PCB itself to remove the charging port. Here's the charging port for the Game Boy Advance SP. The first thing we're going to want to do is take a cotton swab with some 99% alcohol. If you have 97% or higher, that's okay as well. We're just going to clean this area. Sometimes there's residual flux from the factory, and it'll just make our life easier if that's gone. We're going to add some fresh flux to each of these pins. When these Game Boys come from the factory, they usually have unleaded solder, which has a much higher melting temperature than leaded solder does. So what we will do is we are going to add some leaded solder to these pins. I've got my iron set to about 370 Celsius. And don't worry about bridging these pins because we just want to get these saturated. By mixing the leaded solder with the unleaded solder, we're effectively lowering the melting point, which will make this port much easier to do. And now that looks pretty good, so we can flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now we've got the board flipped over and we're going to perform the same process. I'm going to use the 99% alcohol with a cotton swab and we're going to clean up any residual flux that's here. This is just from the factory. If it's messy, that's probably why. Okay. Now once that's cleaned up, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add flux to these two legs. These are the only connections we really have to worry about on this side. And then we're going to add some fresh leaded solder to each of these legs. You can hold your iron there for just a second to let it mix in with the unleaded solder and that will effectively lower the melting temperature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my board and I have my tweezers and I'm going to heat from this side of the board and by the time these ground legs become liquefied, those other pins that we already added solder to should also be liquefied and this port should drop right out. Now I've got my hot air set to about 380 Celsius, full air speed with a medium sized nozzle. I'm going to come in straight from the top and I'm going to go in a circular motion. You could start a little bit further away to kind of preheat the area slowly kind of work your way down. You want to be careful not to touch these components. We want to keep those in place. Without that EM8, without these other filters, uh, this port is not going to work properly. Especially without the EM8, it's not going to charge. And we're almost there. And again, if you're not comfortable or experienced doing this kind of work, send it to someone who is. All right, so we got the port out. This will be a lot easier with low melt solder, but we're making with what we can do here. Got some of that <laughs> port there. So here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna add a little bit more flux. And 
Then we're gonna use some solder wick and we're going to get rid of all of that extra solder. And again, my iron's at the same temperature as before, the 370. We're gonna come in and absorb all of that extra solder. And we should have some nice clean uh, joints, some clean vias there. Let's clean with some IPA and we'll flip over back to the other side. That same 99% alcohol. Let's flip over to the other side now. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of flux over these pins. And we're gonna go ahead and wick these off as well. Just be careful not to brush any of these capacitors off. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and clean up and we will prepare our board for installation. That looks good. So let's go ahead and focus on lining our board up. Let's turn this sideways like so, so we can see that edge of the board. I'm gonna try to line this up the best we can. These holes should line up with these other castellated holes. And this can be the most difficult part. It's just taking your time to make sure that's all lined up. I'm going to add some solder to this area. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line this up the best I can. I could even use my tweezers. And then I'm gonna heat this from the top. You wanna hold that in place until it solidifies. Now let's take a look at our alignment and we can adjust this as we need. And that's solidified again. Now let's go ahead and add the solder to this other side. I'm gonna try to stick my iron inside this hole here. We're gonna fill that up. that solidify and let's do this other side one more time. We'll let that solidify as well. Now let's turn this back around and we will get this final solder point. See a little bit of this copper coming off there, but that's fine. I'm just gonna push that in. That's from the drilling process. We're gonna add a little bit of flux. And I'm gonna try to heat the pad. And 
introduce the solder at the same time. And we get a nice fillet. Now at this point, we just want to clean up and then we're going to test. So I'm just going to use some alcohol <clears throat> and another Q-tip. Now I'm going to flip the board over and you'll see this charging LED. I have a Nintendo Switch charger here and this should work just fine. When I plug it in this orange light should come on and then turn off because no battery is connected so let's make sure that's working. Perfect. Orange light came on and came off. Let me try that one more time with the cable flipped around to make sure both sides are working. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at uh, support at handheldlegend.com or you can visit us on Discord at the Nice Mods Discord where we'll all be hanging out. All right. See you in the next one.